I think they like me. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at a read code problem. And the problem's name is check whether two strings are almost equivalent. In this, we are given two words. We have to check if word 1 and word 2 are almost equivalent. Two words are almost equivalent if the differences between the frequencies of each letter between word 1 and word 2 is at most 3. So we have to compare each letter in both the words if there are difference between in both the words if the difference of their frequencies is at most three then it's okay if the difference between the frequency of both the letters is more than three then you return false so let's take a look at this example and how it works so this is the word one and this is the word two so to find out the frequencies of each letters in both the word we're going to create two frequency arrays this is for the first word and this is for the second word so i'm going to create a frequency array of length 26 we're using length 26 because it is mentioned that word one and word two consist of only lowercase letters so since there are 26 lowercase letters in the english alphabet we're going to make a frequency array of length 26 where a zeroth index position will represent the a letter and the last index position 20 will represent the Z letter. So we'll iterate this word one from the starting index to the last index. First we're encountering a letter A. So we'll increment the frequency of letter A with 1. Next the letter is B. Let's increment the frequency of letter B with 1. Next the letter is C. Let's increment the frequency with 1. Next the letter is D. We'll increment the frequency with 1. The letter is E. We'll increment the frequency of E with 1. The next letter is also E. We'll increment the frequency with 1, so E has the count 2 now. And the next letter is F, we'll increment the frequency with 1. And that is the end of the first word. Now let's do the same for word 2. First letter is A, we'll increment its frequency with 1. The second letter is B, we'll increment its frequency with 1. Third letter is A, we'll increment the frequency of A with 1. Fourth letter is also A, we'll increment the frequency of A with 1. Fifth letter is also A. We'll increment the frequency of A with 1. The penultimate letter is C. We'll increment the frequency of C with 1. And the last letter is also C. We'll increment the frequency of C with 1. So this is the final value for the word 1. And this is the final value for the word 2. Now we have to check the differences between the frequency of each letter in word 1 and word 2 is at most 3. The difference between word 1 and word 2 for each letter shouldn't be more than 3. So let's iterate through the frequency 1 and frequency 2 array with a for loop where i will start from 0 till 26. We can use a single for loop to iterate through the both the arrays because the length of both the arrays is same that is 26. We'll use this factor to use the for loop. First let's start from i is equal to 0. We have to use the mat.absolute function because frequency 1 of i minus frequency 2 of i will give you the value minus 3 that we have to convert into absolute value which takes its positive value that is 3. The difference for the letter a is 3. Since it is at most 3, it is okay. Let's do the same for letter B. 1 minus 1 is 0, which is okay. For letter C, 2 minus 1 is 1, which is okay. For letter D, 1 minus 0. These are null values, right? So there is nothing. So 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 minus 0 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. And the rest of the letters have frequency equal to 0. So 0 minus 0 will be 0 for the rest of the letters. Nowhere the condition is getting false that the frequency of each letter in both the words is crossing 3. So you return true as the output. Wherever you find the difference for each letter greater than 3, you can break the loop and return false. So let's implement this logic in a Java program. As I've mentioned, let us create the two frequency arrays for the two words. The length of the both the arrays will be 26 because it consists only lowercase English letters. Now let's fill the frequency array for word 1. For that we'll iterate through the word 1 from left to right. So for int i equal to 0, i is less than word 1 dot length, i plus plus. Now to fill the frequency inside the frequency 1 array let's access the frequency 1 array and take the character at the 8th index position for the word 1 word 1 dot char at of i minus the letter a so whenever it's accessing the character and you subtract it 
with the letter a in java whenever you subtract two characters it will take the integer value for that character the integer value that is the ascii value for letter a is 97 and whenever it encounters any lower case letter it will subtract 97 from it and place it inside its respective position inside the words one array and next time whenever you access the same letter you can increment the count like this here i'll show you the working how the array will be filled using this logic after i finish coding now let's do the same for the word two so i'll copy this for loop once and paste it and now we have to iterate to the word two and access the ith index position inside the word two and same you have to subtract the letter a to get its respective position now we have filled the counts inside both the frequency arrays as i've mentioned here we have to subtract the ith index position element inside both the arrays and check if it is greater than three if it is greater than three you have to break the loop so to iterate through the frequency arrays you might notice that both the frequency arrays have the same length of 26 so you can use one for loop to iterate to both the arrays for int i equal to 0 till the end of the array that is 26 i plus plus so until i is equal to 25 this for loop will run and now we have to find the absolute difference between the ith index position inside both the arrays so if math.apps the absolute value is 1 of i minus freq Two of five. If the difference is greater than three, so whenever you find a letter whose difference is greater than three, you have to increment a count variable. So for that, let's first initialize a count variable here, which is initially zero. And whenever there is a letter which has the difference greater than three, you increment count and you can break the loop. So we are using this count as an indication that we have one letter that has given false to the statement that uh, the difference should be at most three so whenever there is a letter which has difference greater than three you increment count as a indication and you break the loop and now we have to check if the value of count is equal to one if count is equal to one so if one letter has difference greater than three you can return false directly else you can return true if count is equal to zero, this statement won't be executed. So after all the uh, letters have been checked, even then if the count value is not equal to one, you can print two, meaning that no letter has given false to that statement. So you can return true. Now let's try to run this code. Since we are iterating through the word, which is a string value, you have to use the length method with the parentheses. The same here too for word 2. There's one more typo here. Here we have to insert the elements inside the frequency 2 array. Now let's run the code. We're getting the expected output. Let's submit the code. There you have it. We're getting the expected output and the solution is successful. Now let me make you understand how the frequency array is getting filled with this statement. So this is the statement, right? So let's iterate through the word one. Word one dot carat of i. If i is initially zero, so word one dot the carat of i is equal to a. So we are accessing a. So this can be replaced with the letter a. A minus a. As I've said, a has the value of 97. So whenever you subtract two characters in Java, it will take the numeric value. 97 minus 97 will give us the zeroth position. So frequency 1 of 0 is here. So here you'll increment the value with 1, 1. And in the next iteration in the for loop, i will be 1. So word 1 dot carat of 1 will have the letter b. b minus a. b has the ASCII value of 98. 98 minus 97 will give us the value 1. Frequency 1 of 1. So the first index position, the index 1. You increment the value with 1. B will have 1 now. Next iteration, carat of i, which is i is equal to 2, will give c. c minus a, 99 minus 97, will give 2. Frequency 1 of 2. Frequency 1 of 2 is here. So you increment the value with 1. So c has the value of 1 now. So this is how the statement is used to fill the two arrays. That's it guys. That's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.